Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Meryl. If you're new here, hello. Thank you for joining me today, and if you're not new here, thanks so much for coming back. I appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna do the quickest makeup you'll ever see. <laughs> We're using minimal products, and it's gonna be cute as heck. Um, I, this is, if I've been wearing makeup recently, this is what I've been doing. You really don't put a lot on. We're looking a little bit more natural, a little bit more tanned. Let's get into it. I've already got my brows on. I'm doing like a little Battle of the Brows video. So this is a uh, Refi, Refi brow gel on my brows today. And um, it's there. <laughs> Since we've already got the brows on, it's time to now move on to the face. I'm gonna take some moisturizer, two pumps of moisturizer, one pump of my Auric Glow Lust and Morganite. And we're gonna mix that in and apply it to our face. All right. There we have it. We've got our glow and moisturizer on. Now it's time to take some concealer. Um, I'm gonna take my Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer. You can definitely use a less coverage concealer, but this is the only one that like kind of matches my skin right now because I am a little bit more tanned. Everything else is like far too light. So I'm gonna take some just under my eyes. And if I have any like active Please excuse the water feature in the background. But, um, if I were, if I had any active breakouts, I would also put a dot on my little breakouts. But skin's looking good today. No, no active breakouts. So I'm just gonna put the concealer under my eyes and blend it in. And then just kind of spread that extra. If there's any extra product on the sponge. Just kind of spread it around, but we're not going to add any more product. Okay, that's all the coverage we're going to use. Now we're going to go on in with some bronzer. I'm taking my Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in Medium. I've been liking putting my bronzer up a little bit higher. Um, since it is a cream product, it's more likely that it'll tr like not transfer, but it can move easier than a, a powder would so you just want to bring it like a little bit higher up because when you are blending it out it will kind of go down a little bit and when you have it higher it's just more of like a natural kind of sun-kissed look so we're gonna take the bronzer up here that's a lot <laughs> I'm gonna take the bronzer up here and we're gonna there is a brush on this product but I don't like it not for me. This brush is for me. This is my e.l.f. airbrush stipple brush and we're just gonna blend in this bronzer and I definitely took way too much. And if you do feel like you have a lot on here you can just kind of rub the brush onto other areas where you would normally bronze as well. I kind of want to like blend up a little bit like obviously the brush is going a little bit down which is fine uh, but you kind of want to just blend up as I blend down I'm like do I know anything <laughs> and you know you can bring it into closer to the nose get a little like bronzy across the center of the face And onto the nose. You can always take your sponge and just kind of clean up any product that you feel went too low. There we go. Now we're gonna center under eyes. I'm gonna take my Kosas Breezy Cloud Set powder and just oh, let's blend that out first. And we're just gonna set under our eyes a little bit. And a list a little bit up here. We will put some bronzer on our lids, but you know, can just set a little bit in here. And the chin's looking a little shiny, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of blush. I've been loving using my Tower 28 Beach Please. It's just like a perfect little cool pink. And I'm just gonna take a little bit right up here. Just using my finger. It warms the product up nicely, so it's a lot easier. It just blends out really easy when you use your finger. 
And maybe just a little touch over the bridge of the nose. Just ties everything in nicely. Now, time for some highlight. I'm going to take my Kaja Moshi Glow in the shade Toy Alien. And also taking this on my finger. And we're just going to highlight right up here. Same area as the blush, just like a little bit higher. There we go, maybe just a little bit on the nose. I've been loving this highlight recently. It's just like so natural, but also like, it's like the perfect little glow, you know? Love it. 10 out of 10. I'm taking my Patrick Tall Bronzer in She's Statuesque, and we're just taking the powder side and putting that on our lid. Just so the lids don't look like so perfect and concealed, add a little bit of contouring in here. Curl the lashes. And now go in with some mascara. I'm making my Ilia Limitless Mascara and I've really been liking this mascara recently. All right, well, that's the mascara. We're pretty much done. You can throw on some chapstick if you feel like it. And I'm just gonna take my little ColourPop Lippy Balm. And that, my friends, is my quick, everyday, five to 10 minute makeup. Like when I'm not talking through it, get that done in about five minutes and uh, we're ready to go out the door. Maybe, maybe, let's say seven minute. Seven minute makeup. <laughs> Yeah, I just think it looks super fresh and natural and uh, looks like you've been hanging out outside. Got some, got some bronzy glow going on here. So uh, it's what I'm all about. Just, uh, just a super quick, simple, natural makeup. And um, that's all I've been wearing recently. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and give this video a like if you liked it. Let me know your thoughts, any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, description. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comments <laughs> down below and I'll get back to you. I'll have all the products I used listed in the description bar down below along with my Instagram handle. You can check me out there if you'd like to. And uh, that's all for me today, people. I will see you in the next one. Bye. I already finished filming this video, but I forgot a major step. <laughs> that's like my favorite step. <laughs> um, so I came back to tell you. So I finish off the face with a nice little dusting of my Kosas Soft Bronze in light, just in the areas where I bronze, because I feel like it just blends everything in together super nicely and sets the cream. And it just makes it look extra glowy and extra bronzy. Probably didn't make much of a difference for you, but now we're done. <laughs> okay, bye.